This is a young man's game. Yeah. Dak's a young man. <laughs> Dak Prescott and Des Bryant are going to be a success story this year. Ezekiel Elliott will be great in the running game or, you know, he'll avoid suspension all this year. But Dak, I'm betting on Dak Prescott this year. I know the Giants, with their great defense, gave him a lot of trouble. Third time's going to be the charm for Dak. This is Dak's year to step up and become a major superstar in this league. He's going to do it because he's young, he's focused, he's passionate. He's what you think. Is, he's what Tom Brady used to be before he became 40, and now he's starting to show the miles. Dak Prescott will be tremendous. They'll take care. I like Dak over the defense this, this I year. actually do, and Ooh. the reason I do is because I think that defense for the Giants can be on the field a long time. They really struggled in preseason. Odell Beckham may not play, will certainly not be 100%. The left side of that offensive line is a problem. It is running back by committee. And I kind of just feel, and, I, and I've said this, I just think the Giants are in transition more than they'll admit. I don't know about Ben McAdoo. I have my doubts. OBJ's not healthy. They, they can't solve this offensive line. It's been three years now. How long do you rebuild it? Like, I think what's going to happen in this game and what Dallas is going to do to the Giants this year, they're going to reverse this, is that New York's defense, as great as it is, even the Seahawks, even the Ravens, if you're on the field for 36 minutes, you're not the same defense. Good point. But there are certain teams in your division that you know how to play, and I think the Giants know how to play the Dallas Cowboys. Eli Manning has won more games in his career against the Cowboys than any other team, so he knows how to beat the Cowboys. Beckham not playing is going to be huge because he's a big part of why they've been able to beat the Cowboys twice last year. So if he plays, I think they beat him. But if he doesn't play, I think it's a much closer ball game. I still think even without him playing that you have to go with the defense as, a, as what you just said. Giants defense. The Giants defense because they do know how to play this guy. There's a certain comfort level. Um, certain teams within your division they just have your number. It's a tough game no matter what. It didn't, I, and I remember, and I know you had it. When we were playing, when I was with the Niners, it didn't matter what the Saints did. It was going to be a one-score game. Right. And we, would, we, we knew it was going to be a 10-13 game, and we had much more talent. It was just something about the way that club played us. And I think that this is a team right now, they understand how to play Dak. They understand what's going on. I don't think they're going to be on the field as much as you think because as, especially if um, Odell doesn't play, I think uh, McAdoo is going to make certain that he tries to slow the game down and not allow them to just grind them out because it won't be a high-scoring game in that situation. And I personally think uh, Odell should not play because he has a high ankle sprain and that could bother him the rest of the season. I agree. He's a receiver that does a lot of quick cuts and he's going to need that ankle to, to be able to make those cuts. If he's not 100%, he's not the same player. You know, it's funny. I, I like Brian Billick, but, I, you know, they used to call him an offensive genius, and I was like, why is the defense always better than the offense? You know, people say Ben McAdoo's a great offensive guy. Like, how come the offensive line and the running back situation is so average? I, I'm really – I can't get my – I can't support this giant team. There's so many pe – listen, they spent a lot of money on their defensive they spent front. a lot of money on And it's yeah. really good. It's good. It's a really good mm. defensive front. And secondary. Tell yeah. me how many answers that offense has be besides OBJ. Like, that you definitively know, that's really good. Brandon Marshall, uh, he's got this year. Okay. And Sterling Shepard's a, a good... He's yeah, never he's played with yeah. Eli in a real game like Brady and Brandon Cooks. A real NFL game. Preseason OTAs. But look at the defense, but, but you still look at the division, and you look at the offenses, and you're talking about Zeke and Dak and Dez, and you look at what Washington had of, of you know before they let everything go. They had to build a defense if they wanted to compete. So, and you got to pick one side of the ball. And they picked the one side of the ball and started building it up that gave them a chance to compete. The Giants, that is. Yeah, it's, it's going to be very interesting because the Giants have three starting corners, in my opinion. And most teams only have mm -hmm. two or one right. and a half. That's, and they got a great, they get great safety play from Collins. It is going to be a great matchup for Dak Prescott. The Cowboys may figure out how to win this game, but what I'm going to be analyzing is can Dak challenge the Giants and be better against the Giants than he was a year ago because this is the best defensive personnel yes. that he'll see all year. I I'm interested in Dak versus that defense, and I think Dak's going to step up. I think he's going to be improved. It's the ultimate challenge for a quarterback, and I think he's ready for it's it. It's the best secondary in football. Yeah. I think it is. And matched uh, by a great defensive uh, front. Well, I don't know it's about that. Really you, good. you put the uh, defensive front with... pretty good. 
Those guys are getting old. Uh, they, you, you corners. Seattle's secondary is pretty two, good. Two, three years, you corners fall apart. <laughs> <laughs>